Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. I'm Dr. Robin. I'm known as the Mental MacGyver. I provide luxury level, high performance support and coaching to executives, founders, celebrities, and athletes. With me today, I have Raquel Packets. She is the owner of Zen Freight Solutions, where they do third-party transportation. She is the founder of the podcast, Trucker Talks Live, and an author who just released her second book, Unleashing Your Soul Level Magic. I have Justin Dorsey. He's a lead HR consultant at Employer Flexible, where they work with small to mid-sized companies. He has a passion for people. And I have Joey Robert Parks. He's written 32 books, 29 as a ghostwriter. He is known for listening deeply to others, giving structure and meaning to their stories, and lending his words as occasion calls for it. The question I have today, what is the effect of unreciprocated friendship? Joey, kick us off. Okay, unreciprocated friendship. Now I'm going to start really at, at maybe the opposite end because I had this experience a few years back. I had what I thought was a very strong friendship with someone. I called to connect with them as I had normally every few months. Uh, and they said, you know what? I feel like we've really run our friendship as far as it can go. And I think it's time to part ways. And I was in utter shock, utter shock. And then they had this litany of uh, grievances, things that we'd talked through over the years. Nothing, nothing terrible. Things would come up in a friendship and you'd talk through it. And, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you meant this. Oh, okay, I see. Well, it turns out they had this list of non-forgiven things that they'd been holding on to <laughs> and had built up this resentment that had built up, even though we had supposedly talked through these, minor, what I thought were fairly minor things. So I was really stunned. And for a while, I had to think, what was the friendship? And so this is an un, back to the question about an unreturned friendship. And I thought, you know what? Either I had misinterpreted somehow the friendship as being more than it was, mm. or, and I did think about that for a long time, or as it turns out, more likely they were putting this, uh, I don't know if it was a people pleasing sort of attitude or mm. something, uh, maybe a codependent kind of thing but they had been putting forth this friendship thing that really was actually not there. Um, so that was, that, that was a really strong experience of, of, of an, uh, what I felt was a friendship and, and not actually not being returned, although it did feel like it was being returned the whole time. And it turns out it really, really wasn't. When I read this about unreciprocated friendship, it immediately made me think about my daughter, actually, um, because I can I, I'm watching this friendship happen and I see that same exact thing playing out. And the effect of that on her has been uh, more of like a lost. She seems very lost as far as she's not getting that same friendship back. She's giving, but not getting anything back. And I think that really leaves her um, very confused and makes the person maybe even resentful towards the other person because they're not getting the same, the same back. If you're not in a friendship should be both ways. Mm -hmm. And whenever it's not being reciprocated, there's, there's animosity or resentment that, that kind of builds up. And I think that's where it, it can really lead into like a fallout, much like what Joey was talking about. Yeah, and I think you start with what your expectations are. And some people have this school of thought that like you shouldn't have any expectations for other people. And I just don't see how that's even possible. I think it's just human nature, right? To like kind of think that well, something will be reciprocated, that you're putting some effort in. And maybe it's not 50-50, but there's going to be something in it for you as well. And so I... I think you have to sometimes check your expectations, but I think with social media and the way that we consume information, it's made a lot of people kind of what I call looky-loos at people's lives. Mm. And they get kind of used to being on the surface all the time and not really diving in or investing in, in things. So they got their own little my truth world that they're living in. My wife and I talk about this a lot, but we've, we've seen a lot, especially at this age and stage of our life, it's hard to make of friendships as adults and mm -hmm. it's very easy to get bitter when they're unreciprocated. I feel like for me, when I'm in a, a friendship that's unreciprocated, it starts to feel like I'm being used for my professional services, but not being paid for it. I have a recent one where, where a friend, it's a situational thing, an adult friend in a certain group of friends. Uh, I met this friend when I was with a girlfriend and mm -hmm. broke up. 
and now I just can't get this friend to hang out with me anymore. But he's still part of that group from before. And it's sort of like a divorce or you think they're genuine. I guess they are, but then they're just not. And, and, and that's always awkward. It's, it's difficult. You have to sort of let them go. I've been feeling that unreciprocated. I'm like, Hey man, let's go hang out and silence or how's it going? Fine. <laughs> and you fine. <laughs> yeah. right. I, my first thought is always, honestly, do I do that? Do I have, have I done that to anyone? Oh my gosh. I hope I haven't, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that I, I feel the same way there. Um, whenever somebody is like coming to you and asking for your advice and, um, then, but then they don't ever follow through with any other meetups or anything like that, that you really do feel kind of used for, uh, like it maybe just an emotional support system, but then not a friendship, right? Because that needs to go both directions. Mm -hmm. So I think, then, then I guess that just makes me think, do I do that to anyone? But I, I don't believe that I do. <laughs> right. It makes you check yourself for sure. So when you realize that you're in a situation where you have an unreciprocated friendship, what do you do? I, man, yesterday, honestly, I came so close to texting my friend and saying, do you still like me anymore? Like this very kind I thought, don't, just don't be in a, don't, just don't do that. You know, because what I, what's, what am I going to hear? You know, well, mm -hmm. that's part of it. sometimes I want to ask the question, but then I don't want the answer at all. And, but then I thought, okay, well, just don't do that. Well, do I delete him off my phone? Do I, do I block him? Do, you know, if it's on social media, do I just unfollow, but not unfriend? Like I, Justin mentioned all this social media stuff. It's so, it really muddies the waters about what's expected when a friendship's not being reciprocated for a period of time. Oh, that's a good point. I have unfollowed, but not unfriended people. I've, I have done that where I'm just like, I don't need to know what's going on in your life. Cause it feels really shallow and weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I agree with what you're saying. I mean, there is freedom in unsubscribing to certain people, I, I would say. And it's hard because you've got to have healthy boundaries in your life where you will just get used and people will take advantage of you. And and that's not obviously good for your own mental health or, or well-being. And so you just have to invest deeper in the relationships that are working and, and, and be able to let certain things go. I mean, the finality, it feels like, of deleting someone off your phone or social media is it does feel a little heartless at times but at the same time you've only got so many hours in the day and only so much of yourself that you can give so you do have to separate yourself from certain people or if you've got somebody i think that's in kind of a gray area because i get really tired of this like hey we should get together sometime or hey let's go grab lunch i'm like okay how about tuesday like i'll be very specific about a date and i'll yep. put it the ball in their court and if that doesn't happen i can i can let go knowing that i, I did my best part that's that's me i've got a friend who i hadn't over the whole COVID thing we hadn't communicated much he was a dear friend and i finally reached out we connected and he said how come you didn't connect with me i was like well honestly gosh you're always saying we got to get together we got to get and then when i reach out you just you know you say i'll get back to you on a time and, and you never do oh i'm so sorry man i just oh don't give up on me oh my gosh is it my responsibility now to like constantly lift the other person up constantly constantly it's so so draining I think I do the same as all of you I kind of I don't unfriend or block people I I allow that to just be their thing but I would unfollow just because I don't need that in my in my everyday like Justin said you know we can only take in so much and I guess I I try to be courteous to those people um as far as like if I were to see them I would say hi but I'm not going to go out of my way to then you know, catch up or, or give them uh, thoughts of my, of my life because they chose not to be in it. Mm -hmm. I never delete anyone from my phone because if they do reach out to me, I want to know like, who are they? Yeah. But I do put a Z in front of their name. So they end up at the very bottom of my list. So I don't ever, I don't have to see them or anything. So I always put a Z with those kind of people. If you ever picked up my phone, you'd be like, why do you have all these people with Zs? Well, <laughs> they're not really friends, but I want to know if they like, especially exes and that kind of thing. They're in there just in case. <laughs> wow. So great. I also like these kind of like Z's like sleeping, you know, like, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I love yeah. it. 
That's true too. That's true. Well, that is our 10 minutes. Thank you so much for having this conversation with me. I hope that you don't feel like my friendship to you is unreciprocated. I look forward to seeing each of you again really soon.